for me, Mumbai looks like Greece, like Athens or any other city like Thessaloniki, because it's huge, it's uh, poor, and there is a lot of traffic. And it's also very hot here. And this uh, temperature, it's uh, like in the Greece also. In the winter, it's not so hot, and it's it's still like uh, 25 degrees or something. And you feel uh, you feel something like Greece. I mean. What do you call no, thank you, it's okay. <laughs> Very nice. Wow, crazy. No, we're okay, thank you. So, we're in Mumbai, economical capital city of India. And what we know about Mumbai that it's a pretty large city with a 15 million population and that there is based alternative of Hollywood, named Bollywood with a B letter from the Bombay. Bombay is the second name of Mumbai. So it's a Bombay Hollywood. And everyone here is actor. So as you see, the old guys, there's also actor. They're playing that they walking on the road, you see? Nice playing. Those were the lady. Cleaning lady. She's, pre she's pretending to be a cleaning lady because she's also actor. And even I can be actor, but I don't have a, for now a contract. But as you remember from the previous videos of Georgia, the hitchhiker Alexander, his friend is, is uh, actually in Mumbai and he is uh, working as an actor uh, in the movies as a white person. So a white person are quite required here to be a part of the crowd in the movies. So let's see if we'll find some contract for us. Can you see there? This is a crowd, paid crowd. Look at that name of this uh, organization. If you pronounce it in a French way, it becomes funnier. Merde. You got it? <laughs> Знаете, интересное наблюдение. Сейчас мы uh, увидели большую христианскую церковь, основанную индусами. И oh, мы поняли, что очень интересно, когда ты в таком месте, где все кажется тебе чуждым, даже такие места, как Бургер Кинг или церковь христианская, там любая, кажется чем-то родным. А не вот это вот Кришна, не вот это вот индийская еда, от которой у тебя потом животик болит и тебе хочется. Да. Бургер Кинг это тоже животик болит. Да, но но он болит по нашему, не вот от специй этих, а по нашему просто то, что это плохая еда. Они значит килопена фигают. Ну да, там халапеньо, конечно, но ничего. Сегодня мы прогуливаемся по типичному индийскому рыночку. Здесь очень красиво, очень приятно пахнет. В скобочках это не так. И, как видите, куча народу. Все ходят туда-сюда, снуют, поют песни. Ой, это же пакистанский флаг, правильно? By the way, that's really crazy how that guy's made for us hooks. What we ask just in a matter of some minutes. That is a real skill. <laughs> Very nice work. Наша экскурсия уже начинается. And uh, Ravi means sun. Sun. Sun, sun, sun. Okay. And it's combined, it's called Dharavi. So now we're entering the world's most largest slums Not the in world, Mumbai. Not the whole Asia largest slum. The world is number third. <laughs> number third, okay, not the first. 
फर्स्ट वेलकम इन धारावी नाउ वी आर इन साइड इन धारावी एंड धारावी इज अ थर्ड लार्जेस्ट स्लम इन द वर्ल्ड फर्स्ट वन इज कॉल्ड केपटाउन साउथ अफ्रीका सेकेंड इज केनिया एंड थर्ड वन इज धारावी एंड धारावी इज अ वन ऑफ द फेमस वन ऑफ द डिफरेंट एंड वन ऑफ द बेग हाउ मच इट इज बेग इट वॉज स्प्रेड इन टू टू पॉइंट वन स्क्वेयर किलोमीटर विथ ए मिलियन पॉपुलेशन in the small area we have only 1 million yeah, people mm. and why it's a very famous because of the movie slum dog millionaire yeah. was filmed on here but in reality only the short clip they have shooted on here not all the movie it's a fake they have shooted all in the studio Here we have a three types of businesses. First, we call them recycling. Then we call them textile industry. You know the textile yeah. shirts, pants they make. And third one we call them leather. Okay. So Dharavi is one of the famous place for the leather. In all over the Mumbai, the bigger leather production is inside in Dharavi only. So first, I will show you the textile industry. So here they are making a monsoon rain coat. Oh. So This is the monsoon rain coat. Good one. Apron, bag with the made of plastic and it's a new. Ah. It's not old. They get a fresh plain plastic with the help of hand and machine they will cut it and this is a machine they will make the product. And after final one how they look? <laughs> no. Nice. The final one they look like this. And these people even they don't know where the product is going and where they selling. Mostly people only here to make the product. That's it. Even they don't know this product is going to the another country, but this types of product they will sell all over the India only. Okay, there is a path. Because it's still the same industry. Oh, chickens. Go. Okay, guys. So now we are going to see our one of the interesting business. Let's go. They're making a chocolate, a cocoa chocolate. What? Chocolate. They will melt inside in the big chocolate cake, and they will become a delicious. <laughs> They're making from here. You want to try? No, thank you. There is. No, not this one, guys. This one. Is it safe? Yeah, it is safe. You want to try? Yes. Just small, thing, small bar. Yeah, just I, I will try. Okay. <laughs> so before you trying, I need to tell you the how they make. Okay. Yeah. First, I want to tell you the truth. No, I am joking. It's a soap industry. Okay. Yes, right. Oh, oh. It's a soap industry, but it's a recycle. <laughs> so how they make? They collect a waste vegetable oil from the factories. Small use of soap, and they will put in this such a wax. Oh. And they will melt it, and after the melting, they add some like a salt, a little sort of the chemical, and then they will put in these types of boxes, and they will dry to six to eight hour, and they look like this form, the big big form. And this gentleman, they cut into like a small small pieces like this, like this small small pieces, and they will make the packages, and they sell all over the Mumbai. Oh. So whenever you see black and brown color something that someone selling, please don't try it. It's a soap. It's not a chocolate. Okay. Yeah. So in inside they have a waste of the plastic. So Dharavi is also very famous for the plastic recycling. Mm -hmm. The first business was a leather industry, then plastic recycling, then textile industry we have. Mm -hmm. So guys, where they get the plastic? So this type of this worker they never go outside for the collecting the plastic. Some else people they collect the plastic and they sell to the nearest by scrap dealer. And after they collecting 100 kilogram, 200 kilogram, they send here for the recycling. Every day they get 7,000 kilogram plastic to maximum 20,000 kilogram. Every day, like seven ton to 20 ton. Where they first of all where they get the plastic? They get the plastic from the hospital, restaurant, from the street, for the garbage dumping ground, from the railway tracks, and they get the plastic from all over the India. Only few few states, not from the all over the India. If they collect the from all over the India, they get more than 40, 50, 60 tons. Here, first of all, we have a reason we don't have. Place like a place to store the plastic. We don't have place, so they only get a few. But some else places also they do the plastic recycling. 
बट जराबी इज वन ऑफ द फेमस तो आफ्टर द गेटिंग द प्लास्टिक दे हैव अ प्रोसीजर तो फर्स्ट आई विल एक्सप्लेन यू देन आई विल शो यू फर्स्ट दे विल सेपरेट इन टू डिफरेंट कलर्स एंड क्वालिटी सेग्रीगेटिंग सेकेंड दे क्रश इन टू स्मॉल स्मॉल पीसेस थर्ड दे नीड टू वॉश द प्लास्टिक फोर्थ दे विल ड्राई ऑन द टॉप ऑफ द रूफ अंडर द सन एंड फिफ्थ प्रोसीजर इट्स कॉल्ड मेल्टिंग प्रोसीजर बट मेल्टिंग प्रोसीजर इज नॉट डन हियर इट इज शिफ्टेड इन टू नासिक झारखंड लाइक दिस प्लेसेस बिकॉज दे गो देर and they will melt it and they will make a small pallets and with this pallets they make a new product like button calculator keyboard task pad part local chair like this product they will make with this old plastic more than a 60000 product they will make only three four country they doing plastic recycling like india china japan south africa they only doing the plastic recycle and rest of the country they will get a small pallets mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. like the four pallets and they will melt them and they will make the product and they making up pants on here yeah they make which one yeah it definitely should say like super safe they give that you get the free hairstyle for the women is special free <laughs> spiky hair and after they getting free hairstyle yeah uh you come here they will have dress up they will fix your hair no guys i'm joking it's a safe the it look like a worst condition but it's safe the all cables are waterproof and electrical proof if you now you can touch it you do, nothing will be get you <laughs> after why after the cutting then you can touch then you will get the electrical shock look here so a lot of people they get the time to wash the clothes only few people they just give them cloth to this guy they put some tag number and this cloth will be go to the washing laundry so you know the washing laundry so they just uh, yeah uh, in mumbai you have seen the washing laundry uh, it's a one of the biggest washing laundry so just they go there they will charge them like 40 rupees for pair 20 rupees for shirt 20 rupees for pant they will wash it they will iron it and they will deliver you back separate clothes melting separate clothes melting after the washing it is done as they do it is done Oh, plastic. <laughs> Look at that river. Look at that bird. In that river you barely can walk like a Jesus Christ did. But you don't want to do that. So the, there is a school somewhere here. Yes, here. Here, there, we have a uh, seven school we have inside in Dharavi, yeah, so and four hospitals for the hair removing. It's called tendry process. And after the hair removing, they come back here. First, they will wash the leather. Second, they will dry. Third, they have a big rock. they will say after the drying they become a very strong they need to roll it and they will hit on the rock and they will make it stop fourth they will go up to for the coloring like this you can see and then again they come back and they give them fresh spring alligator snake with this plate they have placed on here okay they will fix this plate in the machine and they can press it like you can see how they now they will show you like this look alligator <laughs> nice and now this will be go again upstairs and they will do the shiny the shiny ho nikle jayega na bhi yeah and do ko color hoga fir shiny and then they will again they will do one color and they will go for the shiny and then they again sometimes they come here and they do the equaling because sometimes they they need to do equal leather because sometimes they have uh, oh this big one yeah you have never seen like this big washing machine it takes 6 to 8 hour to wash it so guys 
everything we have on here. It's called totally leather. And guys, they go inside in the working table, make the product. Okay, so let's go, then we go inside. And we will see after this how they make the product. How the company products look like. Что ж, сегодня мы гуляли по рынку и совершенно случайно наткнулись на место, где могут сделать себе на заказ из двух палок железных мини-крючки 2 мм. И сегодня я буду делать дреды из этой великолепной длинной бороды. Надо показать бороду. Я подопытный. плюм плюм плим Посмотрим, как получится. Я еще никогда не заплетала дреды на настоящем человеке. И тем более на бороде. Но если что, можно сбрить. 